spend your time with us today because the time now, we have a moment in history. And we'll be looking at images of the Milky Way, which you've probably been looking at for many, many years with the naked eye, and if you're fortunate to have a telescope, to see that also. And the, uh, the images have been put together uh, from three different major telescopes, and it makes a splendid showing that we're going to unveil and you will see. We have with us today uh, the Tri-State Astronomers who are uh, going to be presenting. And included in that is Rodney Martin, who is our um, planetary educator with the Washington County Public Schools. And also we have today three very important people that we're pleased. They are so interested in science and in family living and family learning about science. And first of all would be uh, from uh, representing Senator Barbara Mikulski from Washington, D.C., is Julia Juliana Averwatt. Averwatt. Good sorry. afternoon, everyone. It is an honor and a privilege to join you today and represent the Senator. Uh, many of you do know that the Senator has been very instrumental in saving the Hubble, and she's fought very hard for that. And I did bring a statement from her to read. And this is from uh, a press release that we released on 9 September of 2009 when the Senator uh, unveiled first images from the rejuvenated bubble at NASA. So uh, it, it pleases me to be here and on this great occasion, and I thank Marie for the invite. Uh, but the Senator had said at that time, I fought for the Hubble repair mission because Hubble is the people's telescope. I also fought for Hubble because it constantly rewrites the science textbooks. It has more discoveries than any other science mission. Hubble is our greatest example of our astronauts working together with scientists to show American leadership and ingenuity. I want to salute Team Hubble, everyone who worked on Hubble from Goddard Space Flight Center and Space Telescope Science Institute scientists in Maryland to the ground crew at the Kennedy Space Center, to the Johnson Space Center where the astronauts train, and to the astronauts who were heroes in space. And I would like to also acknowledge and thank the astronomers that are here today, uh, Tri-State, and we really appreciate all you do for this area. Um, of course, I run the Senator's Hagerstown office, so I'm very involved with community. Uh, I raise four children and have five grandchildren, so I can't wait for them to come and visit the new planetarium uh, and the display with the Milky Way. So thank you very much. Thank you, Marie, for what you do. Thank you. And a champion of Discovery Station, from the very beginning has been Senator Don Munson. And Senator Don Munson, would you choose to give a few words? Thank you very um, I'm very, very pleased to be here and to be with you all once again, most of you. Uh, I come here frequently, actually, as recently as last week, with my grandson. Um, you know, the exciting place to be in the future is going to be space. And uh, kind of here, about that today. Um, and obviously, the more we know about it before we venture into it in a great leap, uh, and what will be an expensive leap, the better off we're going to be. And I, I would like to thank publicly Senator Mikulski for her efforts with the, the Hubble Telescope. Uh, we're very fortunate that she became the champion of the Hubble because it was uh, going to be uh, abandoned a few years ago and uh, because of her efforts, her leadership and no one else, she's the one that did it. She stepped up and she did it. She saved it. And quite frankly, uh, she was able to do it on the cheap, comparatively speaking. To put a new telescope in space would have cost many, many times uh, what, what it cost to repair the Hubble. So I think we can be, all be grateful for that. I've seen some pictures in the newspapers already of what's been sent back and they're great pictures. Uh, also, I have another interest. Uh, I'm a graduate of Johns Hopkins, and this is a project which is intimately connected with Johns Hopkins. Uh, and uh, so it's uh, 
given, given Johns Hopkins an additional boost in its reputation, and I appreciate that. Too. It's great to be here today. Uh, this is a wonderful place at Discovery Station, and it's a valued, great deal of value to this entire community, and I commend and congratulate Marie on what she does. Today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will say that uh, President of the County Commissioners could not be here. He sent his best regards. John Barr is, is out of town. And but we and also uh, our superintendent of schools, Betty Morgan, has asked the um, elementary supervisor of science and math to come and represent the school system. And that is Kara. So Hi, Kara. Thank you. Um, I am the supervisor of elementary math and science. It's great to see young people here who I think I hear some of them are definitely in our school system. And thank you, Marie, for all that you do for the Discovery Station and, and for education in Washington County. She actually handed me my diploma. <laughs> <laughs> and also a big thanks to Mr. Martin, who I have the privilege of working with, um, and to the Tri-State Astronomers for all that you do. Um, Thomas Friedman, if any of you are familiar with his work, um, The World is Flat, and his latest book, Hot, Flat, and Crowded, comments on just the importance of us as a nation moving forward in math and science education, and that if we do not teach our children to be effective and critical problem solvers, that we're not going to be adequately preparing them for their future and for the future of our nation so that we can continue to be competitive in the global market. And of course, the advancements that we've made in space um, contribute to that and our nation's commitment to that. Uh, President Obama recently stated that science holds the key to our future as a nation and to our prosperity and our safety. And all of the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics initiatives that we see um, coming down and the support that we received in Washington County through our local government and through the school system help to perpetuate that. And I'm very excited about the images and just their evidence that we are committed as a nation to continue the growth of science education. Thank you for having me. All right, without further ado, we're going to go over to the blue curtain and we're going to ask the two senators, Representative <laughs> Senator and Senator and Kara to come over and you will pull the curtain and unveil, and then we invite everyone to go inside and see the images which are on the wall. As you go through the corridor, it'll be to your left. All right? All right. With you. I'm going to go on the other side. Okay. <laughs> and play peekaboo here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a long time since we played that game. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm not sure either. I'm just going to stand right here. There's two curtains, <laughs> one on each side. Yeah. Oh, there is? Oh, yeah, there is. And, oh, she, right. and so, Ms. Barnes wants you just to grab both sides and go ahead and pull. Just, oh, pull them out? Just pull it until it's all gone. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of fabric. So, okay, ready to pull. <laughs> now? Yeah? It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> really <laughs> okay, would you like to step 